Blake Aaron Salata. I love you. You're my source of happiness, strength, confidence, and comfort. Over these past five years, you've shown me kindness, patience, trust, and have loved me every second of every day. And today, I've become your wife. I promise to encourage your dreams and inspire you to stand by your side through life's most joyous moments and challenging ones. I promise to be your true companion, your partner in parenthood, to be faithful, unselfish, and patient. I will always be honest with you, kind, supportive, and forgiving. And I vow to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. To quote one of our favorite movies, Men in Black 3. <laughs> it's true. A miracle is something that seems impossible but happens anyway. All the things that had to align to have you standing here with me, my perfect soulmate, you are my miracle. And for me, you are perfect. I cannot promise you perfection, but I can promise you devotion. And to always remember that love and laughter are life's sweetest gifts. And I will never stop loving or laughing with you. These promises I give to you today and all the days of our lives. Jennifer. I feel like words I love you are overused and learn and lose their meaning. They just become a blanket statement in relationships. I'm a culprit of that. It wasn't until I met you that I subconsciously started using the word soulmate. It has always been different with you. And I love you. While I mean it very much, it was not enough to describe what we have together. We are perfect for each other in every way, from the way we parent, to the way we work, work together, to the way we party. <laughs> you compliment me in every way and give me the confidence to make it through life unafraid. You make me a better person and have exposed my true potential. Someone once said, Blake, where's Jenny? You look like a lost puppy without her. And it's true, I'm lost without you. I don't feel centered, and almost anxious when we were apart. Jennifer, I promise to you, I will always support you. I will always be strong for you. I will do anything for you and our family, anything we need, even if it might not always be what you want. I will always provide a warm and comforting place for you to lay your head and just vent or cry. I might not be as good as it is you, but I'll always be there. And most importantly, I'll always be by your side, no matter what forever. I know these promises will come easy and without effort, because selfishly what truly makes me happy inside is making you happy and being there for you. You're the perfect combination of beautiful, sweet, and smart. You're the most kind person I've ever met. You truly are my soulmate, and we were made for each other. And I couldn't dream of anyone more perfect than you to spend the rest of my life with. I love you. I'm Blake. <laughs> you pick a spouse as well as you pick a best friend, and I would marry them both. <laughs> You've always said you wanted to find a partner that fit into our family. Um, Jennifer, you're an incredible person and a great addition to this family. I've known you my entire life, um, from failed attempts at trailer building, 
to catching microwaves on fire. Uh, there wasn't ever a bad idea. Ideas drive success, and the success you have with the family you've built is well beyond our well thought out ideas in adolescence. Jennifer was, has brought a new love and way about you. I've never seen you happier and more yourself. Marriage is not easy. You'll have great years, tough years, memorable days, days you want to forget. Arguments are inevitable, but if I can leave you with any advice, it'd be to learn from each argument. Listen to each other. Be understanding of your spouse's stance and respectful if they don't agree. You're a team, but remember you are each your own person. I've known this guy since I was 14, most of y'all know. We've been through it all, ups and downs, school. But anyhow, he's my ride or die. He introduced me to my beautiful wife, Ashley. He's got two beautiful kids. If it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be right now. And he also couldn't have found a better woman to share his life with. She compliments him very well. The dude is stubborn as can be, we all know. <laughs> but she handles it wonderful. And I love both of y'all, and as cliche as it sounds, y'all are perfect for each other. And I'm, I mean, I've known you for 20 years, and I'm seeing, seeing the happiest I've ever seen. So, I love you both. And, uh, Let's get a hell yeah and a cheers to Blake and Jennifer. Father, we thank you for today. The psalmist says this is the day that you've made and we're gonna rejoice and we're gonna be glad in it. Father, as Blake and Jennifer submit their lives to one another, I just pray, God, that you would bless this time. I pray that you would bless their lives, their families, and that the love they have for each other is the same love that you have for us. I pray, God, from this day forward, they will always look to you for direction and instruction in their life. We ask it in Jesus' name, amen. Now, Blake, by the power vested in me, by the state of Texas, and by Almighty God, I pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss your bride.